so let's take this is an i not okay so this is a grammar with augmented grammar and allow one items which consisting of lr zero items along with the look ahead value so these are the look ahead values okay i hope you understand how we get the look ahead values if there is uh, just after a non terminal nothing is there if after a non terminal nothing is there just write look ahead value whatever there it is there here okay after a non terminal if another non terminal is present then you have to take the first of that non terminal so that i have taken c by d as a look ahead value now let's see on e okay the first production so on e i get e determines e dot comma dollar so this is i1 so after dot uh, no terminal non terminals are there so just leave it now let's take a b production i2 e determines b dot b okay comma dollar so after dot there is again b so you need to write all the productions for this non terminal so what are the productions for the, this non terminal so this is a productions for this non terminal b determines dot cb dot d only write the productions for this non terminal and just copy the dollar okay still this is not completed only for this we are writing the uh, productions e only on b so e determines b dot b comma dollar so you need to write only for this b b determines dot cb comma dot d comma dollar okay now let's take small c i3 so c is on c b determines c dot b okay only c dot b okay we are we are taking only this production b determines dot cb only not complete this production so b determines c dot b slash and what are the uh, look ahead values for this that you have to write c slash d so after dot b dot there is a non terminal which is a b let me take the pen so after dot there is a capital uh, b which is a non terminal so for whatever the productions that are present for b you need to write and copy the look ahead value what are the productions for dot b b b determines the complete this dot cb slash dot d just copy the look ahead value because only for this production you are writing the uh, for this non terminal you are writing the productions so the complete productions for this is dot cb slash dot d for the b productions and the look ahead value now let's take small d a terminal which is i4 okay so b determines d dot comma look ahead value so i4 is over now this, there is no extra states will come because this is a final state e dot there is no terminal and non terminal is present now let's take here i am taking b this is i5 e determines bb dot okay on b i am taking bb dot comma dollar so after dot nothing is there so just leave it now let's take c this is i6 so on c b determines c dot b okay c dot b only on c i am taking not consider the d only on c i am taking c determine b uh, on c b determine c dot b okay c dot b you need to write the dollar also here the look ahead now for dot b you have to write the productions what are the productions for b the b, b productions are dot c b slash dot d comma what is the look ahead value that is present after b you have to write that here i hope you understand so i'm just taking the input as c so for c b determines c dot b comma whatever the look ahead value is right so here 
after dot there is a non terminal so whatever the non terminal productions are there complete productions you need to write b determines dot c b dot d you have written so look ahead value you have to write also c is over now let's take d i7 b determines d dot comma dollar okay now let's take here on b i8 b determines c b dot c by d look ahead value okay now come here for this on c you have to take if you take on c you will get b determines c dot b okay c dot b again don't take on d only this thing on c you are taking b determines c dot b slash c d so this which is the same here so just take it as a loop that is c so on d so this is over okay so on d what you will get so if you take d here b determines d dot look ahead value c by d value so this state is over now check still any other so this reaches the final state b b dot and here dot b is there okay so I'll write the production on if you take b as an input i9 b determines c b dot comma dollar after that nothing is there so check here on c on c you will get c dot b comma dollar again this thing will come so just repeat it and write it as small c and for d b determines d dot comma dollar so just here it is already present here just written here so this is the clr1 data flow diagram so here did you observe so many states are there when compared to lr0 slr1 and uh, for all this this clr1 is having so many states total how many states the total states here are 1 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 states are there means total uh, it, yeah it's having the uh, 10 states are there so this clr1 is having more number of states means the more number of parsing table a uh, table contains more number of rows okay so let's see the parsing table in the next video of this CLR1.